The recent large increases in Bitcoin's price are great, which is up over 180% in the past year. But why has its price increased so much recently? Is that normal? so close to a Bitcoin halving and what could happen next? Because Bitcoin's market is no longer the same as we'll see in this video. And this is actually the second video I'm doing on the price of BTC. And I've included a link to the first video here and in the description where I looked at the price of Bitcoin relating to previous halvings and bear markets. So you can check that out if you haven't already. And please remember that this video isn't financial advice and is simply education because I try to include a balanced view when looking at price, take the emotion out of it and include metrics and data rather than just adding hype, rhetoric, FOMO or even FUD to people, which in my opinion isn't helpful or great for investors. So please do like this video and subscribe to the channel so I can continue to offer more content for you in future. And let's jump straight in and take a look at what has happened with BT's price recently and why. You can see here that the price of Bitcoin has increased in each of the last six months from September 2023 to February 2024, which has only ever happened twice before, once back in 2012 and after that at the end of 2020 leading into 2021. And the increase in February 2024 of 44% for BTC is the largest monthly increase since December 2020, in which we were seeing the start of the increase all the way up to the Bitcoin all-time highs, with a spike in BTC's price in March 2021, following six straight months of Bitcoin increases which you can see in this table. There was then a correction for a few months, ending up with the all-time high later in November 2021, after the 40% increase in October 2021 that you can see here. And you can see that represented here as a graph with the six months of BTC increases towards the end of 2020 leading into 2021, with the large increase in price, the correction for a few months, and then the 40% increase in October 2021, leading to the all-time high. And you can also see here the large increase that we are experiencing now, with six months of BTC price increases, taking us not far off the previous all-time high. So will we see a smaller correction in the next few months, followed by a new all-time high, like we did in 2021? Or will Bitcoin's price drop further from here like it did in 2022? Well, ultimately, we don't know, but Bitcoin's market actually isn't the same as it's ever been in history, which we'll look at now. So firstly, is it normal for Bitcoin's price to increase so close to its halving that will take place in April 2024? Well, ultimately, the answer is yes, because as you can see here, before the Bitcoin halving in 2016, there was an increase in price. And it doesn't look actually that much, given what follows, but that was actually a 77% increase, that small increase in the blue line before the halving. And then we can obviously see the large price increase following the halving, leading to the all-time highs in 2017. And we can see the same thing before the 2020 halving, where the price actually went up around 80%, before the halving with again new all-time highs seen after it in 2021. However, the price before the 2016 halving, although it increased a lot as we've just seen, it was still over 53% below the previous all-time high, all the way back in November of 2013. And it took until the end of 2016 to break that all-time high, which is over three years. And we can see the same thing before the Bitcoin halving in 2020, with the price of BTC being over 70% down from the previous all-time high in 2017. So the question is, where are we now? Well, if you go about two months before the April 2024 halving, so somewhere in February 2024, we've only seen about a 21% increase so far with still another month to go. And this 21% increase can be compared with the increase of 77% in the two months before the 2016 Bitcoin halving, and then an increase of 80% 
in the two months before the 2020 halving. So if we went by these metrics, we may see a new all-time high before the April 2024 halving. And let's look at how far off the previous all-time high we currently are, because if you remember, before the 2016 Bitcoin halving, the price was 53% below the previous all-time high. And then before the 2020 halving, the price was over 70% down on that previous all-time high. But we are currently only about 4.5% off the previous all-time high, as you can see here. So it's higher than it's ever been compared to that previous all-time high. And actually, Bitcoin has already reached an all-time high price depending on the currency you're looking at, with most people looking at Bitcoin in US dollars. But this has outperformed a lot of other currencies as it's the world's reserve currency. And there have apparently been over 30 countries which have experienced Bitcoin all-time highs already based on their own currencies, including countries like China, Japan, India, Argentina, Turkey and Egypt, to name just a few. So why is Bitcoin's price increasing so much and being so bullish? Well, we have something now in the Bitcoin market that we've never had before. And I'm not going to mention BRC20 tokens or ordinals in this video, as I've done two videos on these previously that you can find links to here and in the description. But we now obviously have Bitcoin spot ETFs. So we have large institutional investment looking to come into the space and invest in these spot ETFs. So they have exposure to Bitcoin's gains without having to hold and store their own Bitcoin. And I did a video explaining what Bitcoin spot ETFs are, their advantages and disadvantages in a previous video that you can find the link to here and in the description that you can check out. And with such large demand in Bitcoin, and basically supercharged adoption through these spot ETFs and the supply being restricted even further in the April 2024 Bitcoin halving with a maximum supply of only 21 million BTC. This could be a game changer and explain why we've seen such large increases in the price. Because as we know, if you have large demand and low supply, that does increase the price significantly. And we haven't seen a lot of retail investors enter the market yet either, compared with the previous peaks, according to many analysts. But the demand for Bitcoin through these spot ETFs has been larger than some people expected, with records being consistently broken. For example, with BlackRock's Bitcoin spot ETF, which is called iBit, surpassing $1 billion in trading volume for four days in a row, with experts like Eric Balkunas, who's a senior ETF analyst at Bloomberg, posting a lot about the amount of BTC being bought through these Bitcoin spot ETFs. With this one here from the 29th of February 2024, stating that it took gold over two years to hit $10 billion of trading volume. And the Bitcoin spot ETFs are not too far off that. And they were only approved on the 10th of January 2024. And you can see the record for total volume of Bitcoin spot ETFs traded being broken with a huge $7.7 .7 billion worth traded. So not that far off the 10 billion that Eric Balkunas was just mentioning. And Bank of America's Merrill Lynch and Wells Fargo starting to offer these to its clients also. There are a lot more articles and posts from people confirming this huge demand. But we can also look at the largest holders of Bitcoin because if we look at bitcointreasuries.net, it states that public companies hold a total of 277,071 Bitcoin. Private companies hold 485,000 832 Bitcoin. Governments hold 565,749 Bitcoin, but ETFs and funds hold a massive 930,152 Bitcoin, which is worth around $57.5 billion. And we also have increased media attention given the recent price increases and Bitcoin halving which is positive for Bitcoin and crypto. Having said that, we could easily see a correction soon and this could come from people taking profits. And we've already seen liquidations 
from people trying to short BTC. As you can see here from the 27th of February, 2024, and then again here the day after on the 28th of February. Obviously remember that this video isn't financial advice, but based on everything we've looked at in this video, I'm personally very bullish on Bitcoin for 2024 and 2025. But that ends this video, and as always, I'd love to know what you think in the comments below. Do you see the price of Bitcoin continuing to shoot up, reaching well over $100,000? And if you're interested in more of a tailored approach to your crypto education, and you think you'd benefit from having someone look over your shoulder and guide you on your journey, I do offer one-to-one -one coaching to those who have the desire and the means to educate themselves further. And there are links in the description here where you can message me and book in a free video call to see if we'd be a good fit. And if you found this content interesting, please do like the video and subscribe to the channel as it really does help and have a great day.